Welcome to segment five in this series, It's Not BS. It's not BS. What we are sharing is insights and wisdom to allow ones to feel better than perhaps one is feeling. Tracy has the gifts of mediumship. She has moved aside to allow a conversation to flow through her and she will say it is like having a conversations from the heavens above. Collective consciousness speaks through Tracy. Some see that as angels and it would be correct. So knowing that we understand, we have placed these segments together for ones to understand that ones are not alone ever, whether that is believed or not. You are never alone, even though you may feel very alone. There is always loving assistance for you from the heavens, and we are not kidding. So we've talked about love for oneself, and how does one find the space to feel better than one is feeling without the use of fill in the blank, drugs, alcohol, food, whatever it is, or as hundreds of, there's hundreds of methods to find relief. What if you understood that you are here for great reason and grand purpose? Most would roll their eyes and go, oh, this is BS. But you are here for great reason and grand purpose. And what is that? Ones will say, I don't know what my purpose is. Why I'm here? Are you kidding? Why am I here? I wouldn't choose any of this if I'm to be here. I would not choose this life at all. No. Love is the answer to all things. It is the answer to all things. Tracy is going to try and fix her hair, <laughs> which is not working. <laughs> Love is the answer to all things. Hard to believe, we know. It is hard to believe, we know. But it is of grand truth. Would there ever be a quarrel in the heavens? So why would there not be a quarrel in the heavens? Why not? Why would the heavens be peaceful? Most would agree it is because there is no harsh judgment, no condemnation, only forgiveness, only the highest sense of love, a love so grand it is light. There would be no room for war. It would be absurd. But as ones find themselves walking upon Mother Earth, many have their own war within. We are sharing that peace on the planet is possible, but it starts within oneself. Peace in the mind, peace in the heart, peace in the soul. It is possible. How is it possible when there is so much turmoil within oneself? So we share that you are divine light. Hard to understand, hard to believe, but think of your intuition. Go within. Go within. So within you is the grandest sense of compassion, kindness, love, and forgiveness that could ever be felt. Within you holds all your wisdom. We're not kidding. Within you holds the grandest sense of joy and peace. But again, hard to believe if life has covered up this light. So many feel that they are living in darkness. So many feel the sense of darkness. And we want to shine light upon your own light. 
for you to understand you hold this brilliant light at all times. It only becomes dim. It never goes away. It never goes away, ever, 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 ever. It is yours always. So love for oneself, how does it, how does it work? How can one bring it forth when they feel absolutely burdened with life, the experiences, feeling low, feeling unworthy, spending endless time beating upon oneself, holding on to something that has really upset? It is to find the place to understand that within you is the miracles of relief. Within you, you hold the miracles of relief. Think of it that way. Underneath those layers we talked about is the miracle of relief. To bring it forth, one must make a decision to bring it forth. And it is difficult to make a decision to bring it forth when one feels beaten, but it most certainly can be done. The best remedy to feeling better than one is feeling is to place gratitude, compassion, kindness, and forgiveness towards anything that has caused upset. And ones will say, place gratitude. You want me to be thankful for how I am feeling? You want me to be thankful for all this BS? We are wanting you to find the place, and it is your choice. Every soul has free will. We are just sharing. It's your choice. It's your choice. We are just suggesting to you that in your choices of free will, you have a choice to feel better. But again, we understand it's hard to feel better without the aid of something else. We are sharing with you to go within to understand that you are magnificent and that is big and that's a big stretch for most. So we would say gratitude to be thankful for anything, even the smallest of things. We could say to be thankful that you open your eyes in the morning and a new day is presented to you. But there are some who don't want to see a new day. You could be thankful for who you are. But there are some who have condemned themselves so much they don't feel worthy of any one thing. We could say, be thankful for Mother Earth, for the moon, the stars, the sun. There are some in a space that won't even look up to see, to see, head down, looking downward, not looking at the vastness of the sky, not even feeling that wishes are heard. Oh, I wish for that. Nothing came. There's nobody there for me. There's no one out there for me. You are never alone. We really want you to hear that. The heavens, if you will, the connection to every star is yours. The connection to the moon is yours. The connection to the sun is yours. The connection to the vastness, to the wholeness. The connection to Mother Earth is all yours. It is. We really mean that. But ones have to allow the connection the connection. So, find a space to be thankful for even the smallest of things, even if it is small. Even if it is small. I am thankful for. And if you have a hard time even finding something to be thankful for, just say the words to yourself, I am thankful. I am grateful. I am appreciating. I am thankful. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am thankful. The wording alone, 
is a connection to your own divine inner essence. What we spoke about, the love held within, compassion, kindness, forgiveness, all held within. When you say, I am grateful, it brings relief, even if you don't truly are feeling grateful about anything. It brings relief. I am grateful. If you just sat quietly for a moment's time and either in your head or out loud if you're sitting by yourself before you gently fall to sleep and some don't gently fall to sleep, some need to consume something to pass out, understood. So before, in a quiet moment, you say to yourself, I am grateful. I am grateful. I am thankful. And what you are doing is providing ease to yourself. So if an angel is to speak with you, and most certainly is speaking with you right now, through Tracy, how gentle would they speak to you? What kind words would be shared? How much love would you receive? So we are asking you, speak to yourself as your own angel would speak to you or many angels would speak to you. Speak to yourself in that same tone, kind, compassionate, loving, caring, wanting to soothe your soul. Speak to yourself as though you are soothing your soul as an angel would. Now, in that space, find the grandest sense of compassion towards oneself. Find the grandest sense of kindness towards oneself. Find the greatest sense of forgiveness towards oneself and not easy to do. But if you were to talk to yourself as an angel would speak with you, ah, relief would be found. Relief would be found. So let us speak about compassion. Compassion is a choice. We also want to share that compassion has different levels, just so we share that anger has different levels, anger to rage, happiness has different levels, being hmm, mildly happy to euphoric. Compassion and kindness and forgiveness is on a scale very similar. Ones choose how compassionate to be. And ones will say, well, that's not a choice. Yes, it is a choice. Yes, it is a choice. And here is how we will explain it or share it with you, that it is a choice. Ones can be totally, if you had a scale of 0, 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, and a stranger has come along, some have a 10, an absolute 10, for a stranger or an animal and can be at a one and two for someone they know. Some may have a level of compassion at a 10 for someone they love, for family, for friends, lovers. Some are at a one and a two for a stranger or an animal. Kindness is the same thing. There are levels of kindness. One can be so kind to someone else and be so unkind to themselves. Forgiveness is something that will set you free and we're not kidding. It is hard to forgive something that has truly hurt your heart. And again, there are different levels of hurt. From a mild hurt, something you can get over, kind of dust yourself off and pick yourself up, to a hurt so bad it'll take you to your knees in pain and anguish. When you find 
the highest sense of compassion for yourself at a 10, and we know we're pushing it, so let us say a six, six, seven, eight, nine. When you find the highest level of kindness towards yourself and the highest level of forgiveness, forgiving oneself, forgiving oneself, and it is all a choice. This scale is a choice, how much you want to offer and if you want to offer it at all. Some will not forgive at all. And it makes for a very troubled journey. Some are not kind at all. And it makes for a very troubled journey. Some are not compassionate at all. And it makes for a very troubled journey. So knowing that all this is a choice from a different perspective, the perspective from the Ferris wheel, what would you like to choose? What would you like to choose? What if you could raise the bar? And again, who sets the bar? But it's not the same bar. What if you could set your level of compassion at a high level towards yourself and towards others? What if you could find kindness to someone that has been absolutely unkind and uncaring. All this is not for the other. Compassion, kindness, love, forgiveness is for oneself. And it might sound a little selfish, but it is not. This is where love for oneself comes from. It's not selfish to love yourself. For when you are loving yourself, you see the world so differently. You see the world through the eyes of grace, through the eyes of miracles, through the eyes as the heavens would see. You see the world from the top of the Ferris wheel. When you are able to just raise compassion, kindness, love, forgiveness, you naturally let it go. Like holding on to anger has to be placed down to hold joy. If you raised your level of compassion towards oneself, you naturally let go the ill emotions. Everything that feels burdened and heavy, all the unkind words you have ever spoken to yourself. If you were to raise and to have, have only kind words spoken to yourself, it would erase, it would abolish, it would remove the unkind words or experiences. So just think of it that way. The more that you can bring forth love for oneself, oh, the world is relief. And in that space, you can create more relief. You can. And as you move along, then you are equipped to provide relief for others and allowing others to know that they too can bring forth compassion. What if you forgave someone or something for something that feels unforgivable? What if you could? You would be free. The shackles from your ankles would be free. It's a metaphor. But you would be free. Freedom. When ones are seeking relief in methods that are perhaps are not good for oneself, let us just say it that way again, no condemning, no judging. The highs and the lows. If you could find relief without the desperate low, you could find a space to know thyself. And from that space, you will create miracles. And you will understand that you are here for grand reason and great purpose. And what is the grand reason and the great purpose? It is love. 
It is kindness. It is compassion. It is forgiveness. For those are the components that resonates, that feels in connection to the heavens, if you will. And the world creates a space for you to gently walk through. Ponder that. So we will conclude this segment. We will create the next segment and it will be our last segment in this series. And we are eager to share with you. There is great love for you.